is the PMA show. Forgiveness. I probably did things that I didn't have understanding of at that time. But this mm. happened. But God doesn't stop your life from living. Mm. He's the same God that gives you second chances, third chances. If we were human. I remember the story of, I think, um, this one that grew hair. What's his name? Samson. Samson. He offended God. He, slept with a, he stayed with a woman he shouldn't have. She cut off his hair, the source of his power. But because God was merciful, he grew his hair back. back. And it was what he asked that, that God, God did. did if he had asked God to preserve his life, he would he have gotten would, his power yeah. and still lived. So Christians are so quick to judge other people, hmm. especially those that are down or have challenges. Have challenges. I say that's not what we're called to do. to do. We're called to lift our wounded soldiers up. If everybody went to war and they're shooting and some of our soldiers fell, American soldiers, they will not even, even lead a, they, leave no, a dead body. No, not even a dead on body. On the soil. On, no. But I found out that Christians would rather run you down, tell everybody, oh, you are divorced, you're a terrible person, not knowing that you are hurting too. You have your I own know challenges. I've made mistakes. I've asked God for mercy. The lives of the children are at stake. I, as a human being, I have emotional needs. I need God to heal. Mm -hmm. And once you've done that, you'll find out that you have a release mercy. in your spirit. There is mercy available Absolutely. for you, and you can live a full and wholesome life. Wow. It's just like a Christian telling me that the church, I tell people, church is a hospital. Right. Sick people come there. That's right. If it's about perfect people, then we don't need church. No, church is not for uh -huh. perfect people. It's not for Jesus perfect people. Jesus said it already. <laughs> I came not for those who are exactly. old, but for those who are sick. So that's and how that's I it. say it. We don't need to cast us away mm -hmm. or people that have one challenge or the other. Because mm -hmm. it's better you are upfront with what is wrong yeah, right. than hide it. Mm. And a lot of people look at you and think your life is together. And if you are hiding it, I think people just applaud you. They like it like oh, that. Oh, yes. It's just like people that open. commit abortion. Mm -hmm. I don't commend them. I celebrate my friends that have children out of wedlock. Mm. Because I know it takes a degree of, of brokenness to be able to bring a child into this world without a father or being married. And a Christian. Wow. That is commendable. Mm. Because that is where the true, that is when you know someone who is contrite. Wow. But taking a baby out and nobody knows. So nobody make knows. Make you appear you good are, in the front yes, of people. Yes, and everybody And they judge you. those that are single that are, moms. No, no. You see, no, it's on Christ-like. No. That's, that's profound right there. I'm going to take a break. Hold that. So I'm going to take a break. Then when I get back, I'm going to look into your role in Jennifer's diary <laughs> and other stuff like that. Okay. I've been talking to Omosude Adebo Wale, the Lolo one on Wezobia FM. She's amazing. She's beautiful. And I can't come to the end of uh, talking with her. But I'll take a short break and after that I'll be back with you. Show. There are many Christians who are putting their lives in danger as a result of what people will say, or as a, as a result of what um, the society will say, or something like that. And at the end of the day, their whole life is ahead of them. They could be anything they want to become. But I also want to balance it from the other side because there are people, young ladies today who get married, who are having great expectations, you know, and then when the expectations are not met, they just feel like this is an opportunity for me to divorce. After all, this person divorced. After all, that person divorced. So why can't I go that route? What stopped me from getting a divorce? If I don't like him anymore, I can change it. And things like that is what is making Christianity to be watered down. You know, when I tell young people, what I do now is because if you are down, you can see ahead. I try to counsel young ladies about the values and what they need to look for in a man. Because being single, divorced, is one of the most difficult experiences I've ever had in my wow. life. Especially for a woman that has worked contrite all her life. Mm. Now young people are more interested in their wedding day. Pre-wedding photo shoot, mm -hmm. dancing choreography at their wedding. But the importance of that word, that vow they made, they don't even know it. You are covenanting to be with someone forever. Forever. Are you sure? This is what that who you want to live man the rest of your life. Change. Mm. Nothing about his life changes in the next ten years. Can you stay there? Mm. Would you still choose him? That's what we can do to this generation. Because this is a generation that don't want to just stay. 
Absolutely. And I tell people that if you were me, I would never counsel any young woman to walk out of a marriage except it's something that there is no way out of anymore. I'm not talking about violence. Violence is a different thing. Mm -hmm. But I tell people that emotional violence is even it's as bad as physical, physical one. Violence, yes. I've seen people who their husband have talked down. She shriveled lit literally and became like a vegetable or somebody you cannot even recognize. Mm. Because when somebody tells you you are not good enough, you are a waste. I married you because you're a Christian and I would have, I would have divorced you if I wasn't a Christian. Wow. You are not even fit to, to be called my me. wife. Wow. When they want to go, I said, don't follow me. You disgust me. This woman shriveled. She broke down. She had depression. She died. Wow. And people will say he never beat her. He beat her with his with words. His mouth. So I tell women that please, because you don't want to get there and learn it the hard way, make a right choice before yeah, you before get you there. Get because I don't want you to have my story. Wow. There wasn't not, there's nothing wrong with the man I married. It's just that we just found out that we're different people completely. But then I wanted to marry God's way virgin i didn't want to do anything i just feel when i married this christian brother we're just going to be happy together marrying it someone wasn't like that it didn't turn out to be wow. like that but i don't judge him because no matter how bad a marriage goes you have something to blame in it too yeah. i must have done some things that probably were not right he might have done things that were not right both of us have something to blame yeah. but i would rather that we're sep we're not together that give our children the experience of seeing violence in the home mm -hmm. or seeing each other, we abuse each other. My children are growing. Now they're beginning to understand that daddy doesn't live here. I say, your father loves you. I love you. It's just that we made a mistake, but you're not the cause of it. So forgive us for what we involved. did. So I give them time with their dad. Mm -hmm. they, have, they live with me. So we have a synergy to balance. Wow. But I'll tell you, it's challenging. What do you say has been your experience like being a single mother? How does that you know, make you feel? To, how do you cope? Well, there's nothing coping except God helps you. I would say categorically that it's not a walk in the park. It's just like we live our Christian faith every day. The Bible says the path of the righteous is like a shining light. It keeps getting brighter and brighter. You see, you just take one step before the other. That's how I live my life. Because the Bible already told you. It says sufficient is today's troubles. Do not add tomorrow's own to it. Wow. When I have challenges, I cry to God like any other person will. Wow. When I'm sad, I talk to God like every other person will. Wow. When I have crisis over my children, I call on God, whether you are married or not. Marriage is not even a certificate for salvation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because everybody is going to answer singly himself. so it's not a family that is going to come before god so you are responsible for your for own yourself. self and that is what i do wow and as long as you can do that taking every day as you find it you see you keep getting strength you keep learning you keep looking and you keep teaching wow. and that's what i just want to do before I let you go on, I still I want to talk about your role in Jennifer's Diary. Yeah, okay. Everybody loves Adaku. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> everybody loves the Adaku. And then, but before I let you talk in that direction, talk about this um, women concern stuff that you're doing. Oh, we're called Caring Sisters Ministry okay, now. We have, um, okay. we have, we're, we're registered. Okay. When we started, it was called Sisters Concern. Okay. I started the NGO during my NYSE years. I wanted to, God told me to Back do this. school. Yes, back in university, university when I was doing NYSE, oh, okay. yeah. That's about 17 years ago. Uh, I'm a lawyer by training. So when I finished, I got a couple of my girlfriends together. And I said, God is laying this in my heart for us to do little things in the hearts of people that matter. And the vision started. And we're 17 years now. And we've been doing so many, many great things. In the likes of less privileged people, we're, praying, we're, we're a praying group. We meet every second Saturday of the month. And uh, we, give, uh, we give of our own substance to be able to bless other people. And I tell people that I was doing that long before I became law law. Mm. NYSE, I wasn't named. So I didn't start it because I needed it for some kind of visibility. I did it, I did it because it was a call from God. Wow. And, I do, and, and it's still subsisting for you to know that really, really, How you were called you to do this. How far you with this NGO thing? Oh, we're doing fantastic well. Okay. In fact... I'm the founding president. I'm not even the current president. Oh, really? 
Really? I've had more presidents, like more than six presidents after me. Really? Yes, I'm the founding president now. We're, we're, we're doing so much. We have a great matron. Uh, we, we're about building our own um, home for um, destitute, the halfway oh, home for beautiful. maybe people that are in transit, in between homes, just need a place to stay, to stay. while you sort yourself together. Wow. You know, that's what that's we're our big project right I'll take now. one more break and I'll be back to talk about your involvement with Jennifer's diary. Okay. Everybody, I love to act. I think it's a calling. Uh, and um, acting at that when Jennifer's Diary was, it was just something that fits me like glove. Everybody knows I'm very Igbo more than I'm even Yoruba. And you are Yoruba? I'm Yoruba, yes. Omo today, Omo Adebo Wale, from Ijebu. Yes. Speak some Ijebu. Eh, went to Michelle Lafayette and Renwa. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I speak better Ijebu than I even speak Yoruba. Okay. But I love the character in Jennifer's Diary. Okay. It's very fun. She's creative. Everybody loves the fact that she eats a lot. She eats a lot, I <laughs> and know. And she's uh, Jennifer's right now. And it makes you look bigger than you are right now. <laughs> well... Um, uh, you know, when it comes to acting, that's why it's acting. We can make yep. believe some. Yes. And if you watch Jennifer's Diary, you know that we've gone to London. I know, right? And Ajaku was thrown back to Niger. Oh, okay. So this is her suffering. Oh. She doesn't have work. <laughs> Jennifer refused to employ her. So she's going through. Oh. So this is what her acting okay. is. Sometimes you have to deliberately lose the weight. So because we if you come back from London, no I work, you were deported. Ajaku won't be as robust now. Maybe by the time she settles that, but if hers will still continue, mm. she go lean that. Yo. How did you <laughs> get that role? Honestly, I'll tell you because it happened by God. A lot of people don't know these things that some things are just spiritual. I remembered about four years before I ever did Jennifer's diary. I saw Funke Akindele and I said to God that I actually wanted to work with her, but I didn't want to ask her mm. that I wanted to do, I want God to do it by Himself. Fortunately for me, that year I had my first comedy show about five years ago. She came for the first edition. She said, ah, she saw me on stage. Ah, this girl is crazy. She forgot about me. She moved on. I remember AY asked me to do a role in AY Crib. AY didn't even pay me. But he just said, Lola, please. I did it. She saw it. I said, ah, this lady again, she can do this. Okay. Then that year she saw me perform stand-up comedy at a hotel at yours event and saw me. She said she wrote that role for somebody else. Wow. That every time she wants to call that person, her spirit will say, call Lolo one of Azobia. Wow. And that's how Funke Akindele called me, offered me the role, and the rest is history. And that's why I, I, I am so happy. Because when something God gives it to you, it I don't need comes. to do anything to, to keep it. To keep it. And that's why the, the character became what it became. Wow. Because it's just God's gift to I'm me. I'm not sure if... There is going to be a Jennifer's diary without Adaku. No, it? <laughs> it's a series, so Adaku can go and come. And come. That's on. the beauty That's of the, the series. Of the series. Some can travel. You okay, know, you can make it dynamic. That's true. <laughs> it's amazing. How did you manage to? Is it? Do you follow scripts? Like of course. So let us. We have a script. We have a script. Even though sometimes when you because see sometimes your script, it looks like you're spontaneous. spontaneous. It looks yeah. like this thing is just you coming naturally. Your script, so yes. you're just working it. Working it. That's what acting is. You can give you the words, but if you don't work it, it's just like speaking poetry. Yes. If you don't put life to it, you can get it. So that's what we do. For Gadilede is a hard worker. Mm. So if you're working with her, you know that. You have you to have, have to your be A game. Hard working yourself. Wow, that's an amazing one right there. Thank you. Okay, what is next for you? What's on your plan? Oh now? my God, I'm doing my own sitcom. I have it already. I have 13 episodes. It's not out yet. It might be maybe the late end of the year or early in the next okay. year. I want to shoot the season two before I, I churn it all out. Um, I have a women's conference I'm planning very soon. I want to nice. take it across um, the geopolitical zone. I'm writing a book. Uh oh. Yes. And I want to do some music. Yeah, I know that yourself. one is by popular demand now. <laughs> and I'll do some, I'm hoping I can put um, some very good, I have, I've had like three singles in the past. Already? Or four, yeah. 
Okay. But I want to do like a proper gospel album, wow. maybe in the next um, year wow. coming. So we're working, working, working. Don't and I'm planning to do my own feature yourself. movie. <laughs> Thank you. That was PMA handshake right there <laughs> Does for it come good money. It comes with blessing. Receive it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Amon, today for coming on Thank my show. Thank you for having it's me. so much fun having you around. You are energetic. You are full of life. It's just flowing. It never comes to an end. Thank you. And that's a gift of God. And the sky is just a starting point. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, everybody, that was Adaku Lola Wano Wazobia FM. And it's been so awesome having her on the show. On this note, I'm going to be rounding off until I see you again next week. Please connect with us on social media, like our pages on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube so you can see more of these shows and past episodes. By this time, next week I'll be with you, but before then, take your mind off the strength and the struggle, concentrate your efforts on the side of life that is working for you, and God will be glorified. My name is Moji Alawi, people call me PMA, and that's okay. God bless you, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. Believing that those who have been in the trenches survive battle and come out on the other side have irrespective. <laughs>